I'm Executive Director Kevin Robertson, and this is the KDA Video Minute for Friday, April 30th. We haven't done a KDA video minute for a few weeks, so let's recap the 2010 legislative session. Remember, Senate Bill 389 did in fact pass the legislature. It was signed by the governor into law. That is effective on July 1 of 2010. We're very excited about that. Of course, that is the bill that prohibits insurance companies from uh, capping non-covered services uh, with those insurance agreements. So we're, uh, we're very thrilled about that. There is one issue in the bill that you need to be aware of. It, though it goes into effect July 1, those companies like Aetna and some others that might already have that in your provider contract, it's at the time of renewal or a new contract that that would be um, taken out. So when you renew or sign a new contract with those particular companies, be sure you know what's in those uh, contracts. Make sure that uh, that's not in there if that's not what you want. And if it is in there and they don't take that out, you need to make us aware of that so that we can be in contact with the proper people uh, to, to make sure that those companies are following the law. So that is going on. There was a ceremonial signing. Uh, Dr. Hal Hale, uh, Dr. Ted Mason, Dr. Kevin Christensen, John Peterson, myself, uh, met with the governor earlier this week for a ceremonial signing. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's a picture of that that you'll be able to see here. And uh, uh, just to uh, reiterate the, the issue with, with dentistry, um, Governor Parkinson was very aware of that issue throughout the session and was uh, very pleased that that bill was, was passed and signed. So again, thank you for all the help with that and uh, for everyone that made phone calls, contacted their legislators. It really paid off uh, in the long run for the betterment of dentistry. Right now, the legislature is in uh, really just beginning their wrap-up or veto session. Uh, mainly, it's going to be budget issues that are dealt with over really the next week or so as the the legislature still is dealing with a $500 million deficit as they have the entire session. Uh, there's a number of recommendations or thoughts still out there. The KDA is interested, of course, in Medicaid funding. We're interested in possible taxes that, that might be imposed that might affect dentistry, uh, different cuts that might affect dentistry, and possible fee sweeps or really the robbing of uh, fee agencies like the Kansas Dental Board to help pay for some funds. So we're watching all those things with our lobbying team, John Peterson and his group uh, that we contract with, and, uh, and of course myself, and uh, keeping track of what's going on in this session. So we'll let you know here how that all wraps up here over the next, uh, next week or so. Of course, KMOM Independence was just two weeks ago, and uh, again, had a very successful event. 110 dentists participating, 1,424 patients treated, $965,000 worth of free dental care. Um, again, a, a wonderful event, a great venue at uh, Independence Community College, and a lot of local support uh, down there, led by Don Farthing, and then Dr. Cindy Sherwood, who was the uh, dentist who was the, the main uh, chairman of the committee. So a lot of great support. Uh, there are some interviews and things we want to show you. There's more information online, some more interviews and some video that we shot through the video minute. And I encourage you to check uh, ksdentalfoundation.org or certainly you can access that at ksdental.org as well. Okay, we're here with uh, Chris Kiger from Ottawa, Kansas, who actually is back for his second day here at the uh, Kmon Clinic. Tell us what you had done yesterday. I had uh, seven teeth pulled. And you're back today for? Uh, I got to get like at least three or four fillings, and then they're going to put a, like a partial or something in my mouth for the front teeth I got pulled out yesterday. So, When did you arrive here? Uh, you were treated on, on Friday. You, you obviously got here Thursday night. Yeah, I got here at like 11.30 in the afternoon Thursday, so 11.30, 12. At what time were you treated yesterday? Do you remember? I came in, and practically it was quick. It was like right away, so probably like around... We came over here around like 5.30, so probably like 6, 6.30. You're one of the first patients in today, so obviously yeah. uh, you stayed overnight again yesterday? Yeah, we just went straight in the front of the line, just camped out again, put up 10, and there you go, just camped out. So. How important is it to have uh, clinics like this available? It's good because, you know, it's like, of course, it's free, and then it's harder for people that don't have insurance or, you know, stuff like that. So it's a really good thing that they're doing this, and I'm, I'm glad, so... 
I'm proud that they're doing this because I needed it done really bad and you know something like this that you know helps other people out it's it's amazing so well thank you very much and we may catch up with you again later now as we wrap up now KMOM Independence we're looking forward to 2011 with KMOM Hutchinson we have made some alterations to the dates just recently so the dates for KMOM Hutchinson are January 21st and 22nd will be at the state fairgrounds. It will be in the Meadowlark building there on the fairgrounds if you're familiar with the, with the facility there and are looking forward to a fantastic time. Let me tell you ahead of time that January we know is going to be cold for patients. We do have two, an, another building actually reserved so that we can bring patients in during the night so people that might have concerns about that know that we are looking into that or not looking into it, we're aware of it. We've, we've made um, uh, plans for that and we think we're going to have a wonderful uh, event led by Dr. Mary Brummett as the local chairperson in Hutchinson. Okay, the KDA annual meeting, the Heart of America Dental Symposium, held in conjunction with the Missouri Dental Association, is on June 24th through the 27th down in Branson at the Chateau on the Lake. It's the last planned joint meeting with the Missouri Dental Association. It's going to be a lot of fun. We look forward to being you, seeing you there. There's going to be a lot of great CE. Registration for that meeting is available online at ksdental.org and then the paper registration will be in the journal and it's in the process right now. So if you want to wait for the journal to come out, that's great, but you can go today right now to ksdental.org and go ahead and register for the Heart of American Dental Symposium. Again, that's our annual meeting. We look forward to seeing you in Branson. Thank you for your time today and uh, feel free to call the KDA office anytime there's anything we can assist you with. Have a good weekend and we'll see you on the next KDA Video Minute. Thanks.